Greetings everyone! Today is my planning video for my planner. Um, you can follow us on Planning Crafters on Facebook. We do post some ideas and we'll answer any questions that you might have in the Facebook group. Also, you can see anybody that's making planner videos at hashtag Planning Crafters. Today, um, I am going to revisit these little guys. And by revisit, I mean <laughs> um, the other night I was live with Deborah and Dawn on our Mystery Monday. And we were making bookmarks for our planners. And I actually made these glitter sheets. And then later I added um, some alcohol inks so they didn't get to see this part we get to see how I made this on there let me tell you it's a lot of fun um, it is messy if you don't want to use glitter just know that you can do this with any anything you're gonna need um, a piece of paper either a printed piece that has something printed and then um, another piece are sorry printed side plain side so you can decorate color have all the fun with it um i would not recommend doing two sheets of paper i did two sheets here i did the glitter then i backed it with another sheet and it bubbled and did some weird stuff it is okay i mean it's gonna work for my own use and stuff but this is gorgeous let me tell you it's so shiny shiny and pretty but uh, what I'm going to do is I have some sticker paper that I bought that I don't like and um, I'm gonna reuse it just like I did here now this sticker paper is not waterproof it is it's terrible it really is <laughs> I'm gonna alcohol ink the the printing side because this doesn't take a print well at all and then I'm gonna add glitters to the back side okay so I'm going to do one of these okay where I have the alcohol ink on the glossy side and then we're gonna flip it over peel the backing and put some glitter on it okay so let's get started with this part and what you're going to need is I have a two to one, two parts of alcohol, one part water in a spray bottle and then I'm just going to pick some colors. Nothing, um, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Maybe some red, maybe some red and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue. We'll make, we'll make some fun colors. Let's do that. I am going to alcohol ink the whole piece, but then I'm going to cut it before I do the glitter because trying to do a full sheet of glitter, that was kind of, that was a little bit of difficulty, I must say. So you can see it changes the um, paper. No big deal. Okay. And then we're just going to drop in some color. Maybe. Ooh. There we go. Do some of that. Do some of this. Pardon me while I grab my puffer. And just make bright fun colors and don't worry about getting it all over your glass mat okay don't worry about it getting underneath that actually is not blending here we go That yellow just is not 
what I was hoping for, but that's okay. We're going to add some spots, spruce it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hit this with my heat tool. Very, keep it moving. Okay, we don't want it to ruin our paper. We just want to dry that alcohol. <laughs> and I don't mind the edges getting all weird because we we need to trim it. Can wear gloves. Just keep that moving and it dries really quick. It's alcohol. All you're doing is drying the alcohol. You can flip it over. See that uh, it's all dry except right here. I'm going to dry that up. Okay, so I'm just going to let this finish drying and then I'm going to clean this up. Okay, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Just like ink smooshing when you're using your inks and you clean it up with another sheet of paper, you can do the same thing with your alcohol inks. Um, I sprayed down the glass mat with some of the 2 to 1 alcohol and 2 to 1, I'm using 99% so it's as strong as you can get. Um, so I've got two parts of that to the one part of water. Sprayed it down swiped it up I also sprayed the paper so you spray the table you spray the paper so it helps it move around and you're just gonna get this different look did the same thing and then this one I wanted to add splashes of color so um, I dropped the drops put a little bit of alcohol on them and then blew them out just quirky a little bit of fun okay so I can save these for another day um, whatever I need to do, but we are going to work with our first fun, crazy design. Oh, it's, it's, it's different. You guys, I like it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the typical cut, cut it into force. Okay. Nice, even force five and a half, four and a quarter. Okay. That's a fourth a sheet of paper. Get these all ready. Okay. We're only going to work with one, though. We're going to... Actually, two. I fibbed. We're, we got to work with two for the um, laminating pouch. So, I'm thinking I like that one and that one. So, I'm going to save these two for another day. They don't have the glitter on them, so... It's going to be fine. Um, and I want to trim this down to the size I need it. Okay. And I need this just a hair smaller than five and a half. Just a hair. And then I do want it to be four. Okay. Four inches by either five and a quarter or a little bit over five and a quarter. And the reason I'm doing that is when I cut my laminating pouch in half, it's gonna give one side a little bit bigger for the poke holes. Something I wished I'd have thought about the last time. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we are gonna, I'm gonna cut off this side. So I'm gonna cut this down to four see how I meant it doesn't matter what the edges look like because you can totally just trim them right off okay and then we're going to take our little bit off of the bottom so I'm doing a little bit over five and a quarter okay and then you've got these are stickers now you've made <laughs> sticker strips a little bit of fun 
funness going on right there. I am not saving those though, so I'm gonna toss those and put this little guy back. Okay. Okay, I've got my little tidy tray. Um, I've had this guy for years. They do have different brands of these. And I'm just gonna set that right here so that I can peel the backing off of my sticker. Okay. And I'm just gonna set it in this little tray like so and this is basically the colors I used so I'm just going to add my glitter any old way I want to okay it doesn't matter how you apply it you can apply it in a design you could cut shapes out of the backer paper and then add it back in okay doesn't doesn't matter but that's all you do okay double double stick paper you could put glitter on both sides um if you don't want to touch the glitter you can put the backing back on and just smoosh that around because now we want that glitter to stick into our paper it up dust it off and then I can use that just push it into the glitter I'm just doing very non-descript just add some color of glitter just something to help make it look shiny mm -mm -mm. and if you if you got sticky okay you can pick your color that you want to go back in with. And I think I'm just going to add the blue. I'm going to just get that in there so it's my dominant color. And then I have these little pops of other colors. Pick that glitter up push that right in there. If you burnish too hard, you will get the chunkies out and you'll be just left with the mica part. Okay. So you kind of want to do it with a gentle hand. Get that glitter down there. Oh, that one's kind of fun and kooky. I like that one. Oh, look at all that. Okay. Ooh-wee. Fabulous. This is a messy process. You could try and put something down. I'm trying to keep your hands out of it. It's... There's no easy way to do it. Let's just put it that way. There's no easy way to do it. Now, I like that blue. I have no problem with it. So, I'm just going to my sticky part right into it now don't push down just let it glide on the top okay that way there it doesn't actually stick to your container oh, look at that let's add a darker blue on top of that Now I can push because there's not as much sticky. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Not a very hard process. Um, just a little bit of time. Okay. These will be great as little gifts. If you know somebody that does, um, has a, ugh, the planner with the specific hole punch, if you know how theirs works, 
you can make these little fun things for them. And then they could have little inspirational notes on them. They can have all sorts of anything you can think of. Because once you laminate these, you can put sticky notes on them. You can put whatever you want on them. Okay, I'm, I'm liking that one. And it's super cool because the design does show through. There's a little bit of yellow, the red right there. Very fun, unique. No two will ever be the same. Okay, well, I'm going to clean this up. And to clean this up, I'm just going to dump that right in the garbage. There's not enough there to worry about. And then I'm going to take a t-shirt. Okay, not to not a microfiber or anything like that. I'm going to take a t-shirt. I'm going to hose it down with a little bit of water and wipe this right up and into the garbage. And I'll be right back. Okay. My big old glittery mess is all cleaned up. Now I've brought out my long chop chop. That way there I can cut my laminating pouch in half lengthwise. I don't want to cut it in half this way because then my little pages are going to be a little bit of a pain to put back together to sandwich stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half at four and a half. Because laminating pouches are designed to laminate a full eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So they're actually nine by um, eleven and a half. Okay, so they are big enough to house a whole sheet of regular copy paper. So at four and a half, I'm going to hold this as tightly as possible. Okay, and I'm going to start slow. <laughs> Cutting a laminate is a little bit tricky. It's not like paper. It wants to fold and not cut. Okay, so I'm going slow in case there's a little hiccup, like right there, it doesn't want to go down. So I'm going to lift a little bit, go down. Okay, and then we have a beautiful cut. Set that away. Now, I can put this back in its little storage bin because I'm only doing two. I don't need that. Now, this is why you want to do two at a time. Okay. You're going to open your little pouch. You're going to set this little gem in there. Okay. But you're going to leave more room on one side than the other. And that's going to be where your holes are. Okay. So it doesn't matter um, what side is up or what side is down. Because when you go to poke your holes and you go to put in your book, you can put it in any way. Okay, so we've got that in there. We've got a little bit of room on the one side and a lot more room on the other. And I'm just going to straighten this out. I want it as straight as possible to save me from having to trim later. It's being a little stubborn. Okay, no big deal. Just fussy it in there the way you need it. So that looks good. Now, this one I'm going to place in there as well. And I'm going to keep it far from this one. So I have plenty of room to cut them apart and not mess with the seal. And again, we're going to have less room here, more room here. Or vice versa. Just one side needs more room than the other. Okay. Okay. And it may not be quite enough room. Let me, I'm going to check with my other ones. Um, that actually should be okay. Because what I did here is I made the paper as big as I wanted, laminate it, and then poked the holes. Where the paper and the laminate meet, it kind of separates. It's not very strong there anymore. So I don't want to do that. That's why I want more on this end. Okay. So now I'm going to carefully lift this and take it to my mink. Because I do not have a laminator. I have a mink hot foiling system. 
which I'm going to turn on to a level two. If you're using your mink, less heat. Um, I did mess up one and I couldn't figure it out, but it was too much heat. So just a level two for this and I'll be right back. A tip that I can give you is when you're running this through your laminator or your mink, make sure it is flat all the way in and all the way out. Um, if your laminator curls, if your project is coming out the back and it's going up because you got something close to it, because normally that doesn't matter, right? Um, so it starts to go like this. It will cause it to buckle. Okay, so you want to make sure everything goes in straight and comes out flat and straight. And you'll have <laughs> these wonderful little um, goodies. And because we did this just right, we're going to eyeball. Okay, so I've got a thin, a thin, a thin and then a nice thick border here. Um, this one's not too bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this fat, fat little piece here. So I'm gonna put my little, okay. I think I will trim that one just because it's enough to bug me. Okay, so now we have thin, 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 and our nice fatty piece right there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to round my corners because those get super sharp. Okay. Now it's super thick. It's not going to go through your corner. Round. Well, maybe it might go through yours. I don't know, but it doesn't go through mine. Mine is, <laughs> was my mom's creative memories back in the day. Okay. <laughs> Very old school. And what I'm doing is just marking it because I can't round a corner with a pair of scissors without some, some guidance. Okay. And so I can just follow the marks it left. So then my little corners will be nice and even and it kind of bites into it. So I am actually only snipping a teeny weeny weeny bit. Okay, see it did, did give a little bite in there. Just, just like that. And then we're going to have these lovely rounded corners. Oh, that one's a little too close, but that's okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. That one's got a little bit of glitter on that side. Little iridescenies. Oh, so that one. But you can clean them beforehand. And then you have these gorgeous. Look at that. So here's where the gifting part comes in. Say, or let's first bite them. Let's give them a little, little love bite here. So I have the big one because I figured... Um, if I might do bigger planners, that's what I'll need, right? Big planners, little planners, whatever is going on. And I'm just eyeballing it. Nothing spectacular. I am making sure I have an equal amount of paper sticking out on both sides or not sticking out. Okay. It uses one, two, three, four, five, six six little mushroom punches so i'm going to line that up in there and then push and there we are we have our six lovely little connectors and we're going to do the same thing make sure it's on the fat end get that in there however you want to do it make sure your paper is lined up on both sides okay Oh, that one just a little bit into the paper, just a teeny weeny bit, but that is okay. That is what I wanted. It's going to be much stronger now than my original because I can feel it. It buckles right there. 
but it's not doing that right there. So I like that. So now here's when the gifty part comes in, right? You make a card, you send this out. Um, you might need a little bit bigger envelope, no big deal, or make these so they fit in an A2 size envelope. You can um, put little sayings on there, okay? Little hearts. Maybe they're going to college or something. You're, you've made them a book or you know they've just bought one. You can leave messages, okay? Let them know it is a Sharpie so they can take a cotton ball and a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, okay? The longer it sits, the harder you'll have to clean. But voila, it's like your own little dry erase board, which is some alcohol, okay? Stickers, put stickers on that. Maybe, um, you know, show them that, hey, this is for your notes. They can put a note thingy on there. Maybe a little sticker. Or stickers. No, I don't like that one there. Move that one just a little bit. There we go. Okay. A little pencil pencil right there so that they know oh hey look I can put a sticky note in there for quick notes before you actually go right in there okay okay so you can leave them a note that says hey you can keep notes on here easy peel Ready to go for next time. You can um, vinyl print stickers, okay? In, in stickers of any kind will stick to this because you laminated it. And then you go and you plop it in. Now I've got this one here, so maybe I wanna stack this one right there. I wanna put this little guy back in here, okay? And now, okay, I have three in there. Maybe I don't want that one hanging off the page. There we go. So I've made my own little fun little flippers. Okay. Make them as long, as tall, as skinny as you want. Okay, this one here, I left it big up here so it sticks out. This one here, I have um, a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. Okay, so when I flip that here, I'm gonna put this one right at the beginning, cause why not? Do what? Do more of what makes you happy. Okay, one day at a time. You got this. Little happy notes. I need to get to this week. There's that for me. Oh, I want to get ahead of a month. Well, here's June. I just flipped to it with my little helper that's sticking out on both ends. Okay. Just know that if you're planning to put it away, okay, and you're going to stand it up, you don't want them sticking out the ends. Okay. But I don't stand mine up. I lay mine down. So this is going to work for me. I can grab it there. I can grab it there. I can look up here and say, oh, those, those tabs and flip. My apologies. I forgot to put that phone on do not disturb. Okay. So there you have these fun, fun sized little notes that you can send as gifts or just do your own inspiration. Again, I wrote that w earlier, much earlier today. So I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and off it goes. And it's good for another quote. Quote of the day. 
you could put that in a sticker quote of the day and then just um, <laughs> make sure it's dry before you go in do that make sure you don't go off the page but and you're good to go again Ta-da! how fun is that and it's all glittery and it's not gonna get you oh look at that a little bit of alcohol it's a great way to use up colors that you don't normally use you know if you don't like green shame on you but if you don't like green maybe you can fill it with some greens and give it to a friend who likes green you know whatever but uh, I hope you found this interesting and fun and if you decide to make dividers for your planner or even just little little bitty um positive fun flips in there let me know post them on instagram in our facebook group planning crafters on facebook planning crafters on facebook hashtag planning crafters i do follow that hashtag on instagram and facebook i do check that out um you can use that hashtag on youtube and find more of our videos um, be sure to follow me here on my channel. Hang out with us on the Chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends Facebook group. You can post your creations there as well. Post it, post it, post it. We love seeing what you guys create. And then, you know, use up that sticker paper that you're not in love with. That's <laughs> not waterproof and it doesn't do like it's supposed to do. I mean, look at that. I could stick that, not to this background, but that's a make my own stickers. Mm -mm -mm. Until next time, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.